John, how do you feel about Minneapolis? Do you have a particular burden or love for your hometown? Hmm, that's a really good question. It's, I say it's a good question because I don't, uh, I don't think geographically very much. I, uh, I feel, I grew up in Greenville, South Carolina. I moved here when I was 28 and I'm 63 now. So this is home and, uh, and yet I don't, I don't feel kind of ownership. Like I don't fight for this. I don't really care whether the Vikings or the Packers win. Um, uh, and uh, so I'm, I'm not a real geographic home guy. Uh, I like to be where people are. I like to be where need is. I like to be where there are ripple effects of, of the word and, and of truth. So, yes, I'm here. We have this slogan in Bethlehem called uh, proximity uh, apply, uh, implies accountability. And so I, I feel like as my uh, cir uh, circles go out from my life, my responsibilities decrease, and so nearer is, is important. And so, uh, yes, I would love to see God move. I, I get up in the morning, I go to my window where my little nook is to pray. I look at the city. I've got a beautiful line on the cityscape from my study window, and I pray. I've prayed hundreds of times, Lord, those tall high-rises, fill them with the Word of God. Fill them with Christian people. Fill them with your name. You know, that passage from Acts 5 where it says, the enemy said to the apostles, you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching. I just would love for that to happen. So I pray that way for revival and reformation to come to the churches. I often pray for the, the larger churches that are not faithful to the word of God near my house. I know some of those pastors and I grieve over the kind of shepherds that they are, frankly. And so I pray for that kind of reformation in the, in the church. I would love to see uh, the, what, 1,000, 1,200 evangelical churches in the larger metro area of the Twin Cities awakened and revived and vital and passionate for the truth of, of Christ. Um, there's a new little effort to try to draw together pastors in relation to the Gospel Coalition. And that might have a, a future to it that would help us to pray more unitedly for the for the city so that's a, a little glimpse maybe into the way I, I think about about Minneapolis and St. Paul and the wider metro area here but you know given things like this where I know people are watching this in Australia uh, I just got back from Germany and Russia where I, I met pastors who are loving God I just feel uh, as I'm, I'm going older I'm 63 and I'm growing older and I just feel like um, there is a platform for loving the church globally as well as locally. So I find myself, I find myself stretched.